Today, Texas Health and Human Services Office of Inspector General Staff appeared at our Dallas Planned Parenthood of Greater Texas Administrative Office requesting thousands of pages of documents that are in nearly a dozen of our health center locations and medical record storage locations throughout Central and North Texas. The request for documents includes unprecedented and unnecessary information such as the home addresses of each and every one of our employees. All record requests, which thousands of pages of documents spanning back five years, are due in the next 24 hours to the state of Texas. Please know this, Planned Parenthood complies with every state law and regulation. We work to strive to meet and exceed all expectations of our patients, protecting the confidentiality of our patients and employees is paramount to our mission. We will do everything we can to ensure their confidentiality as we cooperate with the state's request. We believe the request made today following new efforts this week to block Planned Parenthood patients from Medicaid represents politics at its worst. We will make every effort to comply with the state's request, but see that this is an excuse to take away health care from thousands of women and men who rely on Planned Parenthood for preventive care. Let us be completely clear. Our health center doors are open and our health center doors will remain open. Planned Parenthood has served the men, women, and teens of Texas for nearly 80 years and we will not back down from providing safe, accessible um, health care services to our patients. Not one dime of governmental funds go to subsidize access to safe legal abortion um, at Planned Parenthood in the state of Texas. We recognize we are very fortunate to have unparalleled support from community members and every single one of our um, providers and services in relation to the provision of safe legal abortion is privately funded. We believe this is a political attack against Planned Parenthood, the services that we offer, and our patients specifically. We recognize Texas has the highest uninsured population in the United States, and we need more providers of care, not less, and our governor and our legislature continue to put barriers in the place of Texas women, men, and teens to access the health care that they need. We serve many thousands of men, women, and teens um, in our health centers in North and Central Texas, and today our staff is focused on exactly what we'd expect them to be, which is their health and safety and our patients are here seeking basic medical care. They recognize that health care should not be politicized and it shouldn't be a political tool. They're here for basic gynecology care, pap smears, breast and cervical cancer screenings, testicular cancer screenings, and they're just trying to protect their health and we're trying to provide it. 